All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rukal Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men that I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much I woke up. You know, out the blue, pretty much. And um, something that's been on my mind for like the past couple of weeks is um, household salvation. You know, because the majority, you know, of brothers in the truth, you know, they have um, kids. So, what, um, what's written in the scriptures is the fact that you have examples of men that had families that the Lord delivered. And this is what this video is going to be about. You know, you might have a kid, you know, you might you might have become a father this year. It's not the end of the world, you know, because you got people in this society that act like having a kid is the end of the world. Meaning, you know, it's not the best time to have a kid, but, you know, everything happens through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know. And really, you don't even know who that kid is, you know, coming back. Because we understand that reincarnation is in the Bible. But the importance of um, doing this work, you know, spreading the gospel, preaching the gospel to the children of Israel, that's going to save your wife or wives and your children. And I'm, uh, I'm sure you, this is just going to be a quick example of household salvation so we know that salvation is dealing with what preservation or deliverance from harm ruin or loss the first scripture that comes to mind is revelation chapter 18 verse 4 where it says come out of her my people referring to babylon the great which is america because babylon the great is prophesied what to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles all right and then you know, they got, it says theology, but it says deliverance from sin and its consequences believed by Christians, which we know that the first Christians were what? They were Israelites, you know, told you that in, um, in um, Acts. It says to be brought by faith in Hamashiach. Then you got the different root words, redemption, deliverance, saving, help, uh, reclamation. All right. So we're going to be delivered from our enemies. And you brothers that have families, you know, the Lord is going to deliver your families. Lord willing. Because we don't know how things are going to turn up, you know, as far as, you know, the women in the time of um, Jacob's trouble. But, you know, if you have a woman that's pleased to dwell with you, you know, you, you enjoy it while it lasts. Or well, that just could be the woman that the Lord is going to allow for you both to receive salvation. Because it said that women got to be saved in childbearing in the book of Timothy. Now, this is on uh, Romans 15 and 4. It says, for whatsoever things were written or for time were written for our learning. So when you read in the scriptures, you read about how our forefathers was delivered out of different temptations. And out of different captivities, how they kept the faith. So if you read about one of our forefathers, you know, being delivered, then that applies to us as well. That's why it's recorded in the scriptures. That's why the Lord allowed it to be written and stored for when you come into times like this, which is what? Jacob's trouble and the hour of temptation, which is going to happen to him. You know, that global economic collapse. It says that we, through patience and the comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Yeah, you have hope. You know, you have hope based on how what you read, how our forefathers was delivered. How the children of Israel, you know, how they was waxing exceedingly great. You know, they was uh, multiplying a lot in Egypt, but they was still delivered. You know, 
Now check this out. This is Acts 16 and 30. It says, and brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? Right? So when you read Proverbs 8 and 4 and you read, you know, Luke 14 and 23, you know, the scriptures say what? My voice is to the sons of men, roughly paraphrasing Proverbs 8 and 4. And then the Lord, Yahweh Shai said what? He said to go out on the highways and byways and bid them, you know, to the marriage. Right? That's what the men of the nation of Israel have to do. Now, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31, it says, And they said, Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And thou shalt be saved and thy house. And that's the key thing. That's the importance of being serious in his truth. You know, especially if you have, you know, family, sons, daughters, or a son and a daughter. You know, you got a, a wife that you love or wives. Whatever your situation is, it's important that, you know, you follow, you know, the order. You know, whatever order comes out and you follow the examples of the men of the Lord. You know, which in this lifetime is the apostles of Great Millstone on down. All right. So I'm going to read it again. So it says, and they said, believe on the Lord, Yahweh shall Mashiach, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. So that's that's important, because if you sincerely, truly believe on Yahweh Shai, what are you going to do? You're going to preach this word, man. You're going to wake up the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, which are the children of Israel, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, to the best of your ability. Verse 32, And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. Let me see. It was something else I was on. Um, I was looking for but that's pretty much it with that all right now this is second corinthians 4 and 13 it says we have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believed therefore have i spoken so if you believe you're going to speak you're going to spread the gospel as a man from the nation of israel we also believe, therefore we speak. That's why you got camps. That's why you got multiple men in the truth preaching his word, reading precepts. So if you believe, you're going to spread this gospel. And spreading this gospel and fearing the Lord and preaching his word is going to lead to what? Your family and your your children, you know, your wife, your wife, you know, your um, kids being saved. Based off of what? Your merits, your actions that you display before the Lord. Because to repent is a is a, a action. You got to prove to the Lord that you repent. Here's some more quick examples. Second Peter 2 and 5, and spare not the old world, right? When you read in the um, book of Genesis, you know, before the flood. It says, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Because what did Noah do? What did Noah do for the Lord to deliver not only just him, but his sons and their wives and, and children? Right? What, what, what happened? What did he do? He was a preacher of righteousness. He prophesied for over 100 years. That was his faith that he displayed to the Lord. Therefore, his family was saved. The same thing could happen to you. It says, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And that's what happened during that time. Noah was trying to warn, you know, the um, sons of the power and just really the world, you know, to turn from your wickedness. And they didn't do that. So they, they drowned. Genesis 7 to 13, and the self same day into Noah and Shem and Ham and Japhet, the sons of Noah and Noah's wife, 
and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. All right. So these examples is written in the scriptures that through patience and faith, you know, you have hope. So it's important, you know, to do your videos, you know, to follow the apostles of Great Millstone. Because that's what the Lord raised up in these last days. And that's the example you got to follow if you want to be saved. All right. So the guideline is the scriptures is, is right there. All right. So for being a preacher of righteousness, glorifying the Lord, spreading the correct gospel. Your family could be saved, which involves your wives and your sons, you know, your daughters. All right. So it's important. Shout one.